Hello guys, today is going to be an unboxing and uh, installation of the uh, TP-Link um, Wireless N PCI Express adapter. Here's a little image of it. Okay, just got this in the uh, mail today. The post. So let me just go ahead and get this out of the box. Okay, now before I continue, I'm going to show you what they say on the box. Um, the features and benefits. It's got 150 megabyte wireless data rates, um, ideal for video streaming, online gaming, and, and internet calling. So that means you could be somewhere with Skype, playing some game like Minecraft, for example, or League of Legends, or whatever. Whatever you play, this will probably be good enough for that. Yeah. And these are the related products. There's the, uh, what, another wireless N1 that goes in your computer. The USB dongle, I presume, and another USB dongle. Uh easy installation guide which is in there I'm guessing. so let's just open this up a cardboard box within the cardboard box that's always good just throw that out of the way so this is a cardboard box okay so inside we have quick installation guide a small uh, uh, two and a half inch CD maybe two and a half I'm not sure uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless products usage in European community. Okay. Quick installation guide, another one. That's probably different languages. And then we have the product itself inside an anti static bag. Observe precautions for handling electronic sensitive devices. But as you can see, we have the little dongle here. Now, this is um, very, um, very flexible. So you can go around all the way. You can unscrew it. That's what uh, you can unscrew it there. There is versions of this with more than one of these antennas, but this one has only got one. Status LED here. We have the chip right there, as you can see, PCIe 1X. Um, 1X slot compatible. Um, and that's about it. Next we'll just show you the installation guide. It's Lewis here again, and I'm going to be doing the uh, physical aspect of installing the, uh, the dongle right now. So in this example it's actually this one right here so we need to get the adjacent one which is this one. Now the ones on my case you can't put them back in so this is going to be tricky. They kind of like snap off. So now we've got this off. Uh, the next thing we need to do we need to just line this up. And then just push it in. Now we need to just screw it in. Hello again guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the drivers. So what we need to do is we need to go to start, computer, and then click on manage. Then we need to go to device manager. And in the other devices, we should see network controller. Um, and then we just need to go on here and then click update driver software. Go to browse my computer, uh, browse, and go to computer. And here you'll see the disk, and it has all this stuff on here. So th as you can see, there's two. So if we click on this one, we see driver files, and on this one, we see driver files again. Uh, let's try. Let's just try both of them. And as you can see, we now have installed the drivers. We just go close, and you can see there's two new network drivers. So there's Realtek, actually no, that's the one that was already on my motherboard, the Realtek one, and then the TP-Link 150 megabyte per second wireless and PCI reel. All you need to do now is reset your computer, and you're good to go. Okay, so now I've restarted my computer. As you can see, you have this uh, a different little icon in the bottom right corner. Not connected, connections are available. So this is the wireless thing. So when you click on this, all of your all of the wireless stuff that are around your computer are showing up. And then you can go and connect to any you want. Okay, so now I've connected to an internet. And it actually says lo no internet access. <coughs> but it does, which is weird. Oh, there you go. It's on four bars right now. And I'm 
pretty close to that. Speed test this. And see if it's any slower than how it was when I uh, had it plugged into my internet. So when it was in my um, LAN plug, it was actually around uh, about 60 to about 80 megabits download. The ping, the ping is not that much more. Um, remember, we are on peak time, so that means there's quite a lot of people on the internet right now, which is why this could be slow. And the upload speed doesn't really matter, but let's just do that anyway. The upload speed's good because I've heard good things about the upload speed. Um, yeah, that's usually what I really that's what I get when I'm plugged in as well. So they're both around the same, but um. Thank you guys for watching. I'll rate this about 8 out of 10. And that's mainly just because it's such a great product. I'll see you next time guys and thanks for watching.